What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We're back at Copart for another walk around. Let's jump into it today with number one on my list. One of my favorite cars ever, a 2018 Hyundai Elantra, 8,000 miles on the odometer. Why is it here? Well, uh-oh, what is that? She's been here since 2019. Wow. So this car has been sitting two to three years. It's got a little damage right here. Not too bad. What, what about the rest of it? And yes, I know this is a Nismo RS. I'm not interested in it. Anyway, back to the Elantra. Took a little damage to the back bumper there. That's just superficial though. No, oh, I don't see any damage under there. Um, oh, 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 there is damage over here. Okay. All right. The door, I mean, it's rusted. Look at that. It's just rusted. Door, fender. This door took some damage as well. Looks like you got some damage back here. Yeah, okay. I see it now. Ooh. Yeah, the paint and everything is cracked because this has all been pushed in. Yeah, I understand now. It could still make a great daily for someone, though. Even if you left the damage, fix the bumper, replace the fender. Hell, this bumper is probably still reusable. Replace the headlight, try to repair the bumper, replace the fender, straighten that out as best you can, patch it up, and drive it. I wonder if it'll run. I mean, after sitting for, uh, I mean, it sat for at least two years, at least two years with ethanol gas. I don't know, guys. I'd say that's probably not very promising. Push to start, I'm sure. Yes. It's got a big old robe or a blanket in there or something. All right. She's not too bad looking. Obviously, she's going to need a jump. We'll go ahead and get on that real quick. Tires are obviously in good shape. That's my biggest question is after sitting for this long, will she still fire up with just a jump? Or do we have some rotten fuel? Sorry if I'm bouncing you guys around there. Or do we have some rotten fuel in the tank? She's full of oil. All right. Hey, I'm down, man. Let's do it. Let's do it. I can't believe it's been sitting here this long. This happens sometimes. It really does. Just like with everything in life, you know, nothing's perfect. No system is perfect. But, you know, they do a pretty good job. They really do. But sometimes, every now and again, a car like this just gets lost. And then one day they find it. <laughs> you know, it's a couple years later. All right, here we go. We'll see. I bet she still runs. I bet she starts right up. Uh-oh. Doesn't recognize the key. <laughs> How she fired right back to life. She did. Wow. Brakes feel nice and firm. Steering is nice and soft. You got heated seats. Drive mode. Sport, eco, and off. She goes backwards. She goes forwards. I can't believe this thing's been sitting here this long. Wow. I'll be honest with you, the engine doesn't sound great. Definitely hear some lifter noise. Let's try the AC, I'm sure it works. Oh wow, okay, off. <laughs> yeah, AC works great.
She sounds pretty good, guys. Honestly, the worst of the damage, right here. Headlight, fender, maybe a bumper. Touch up that door, straighten it out, leave it. I'd probably leave all this too. Or you could, for me anyway, I'd go to Mako. I'd have them just straighten this out as best they can and fill it and then just reshoot it. Do the best to blend. Oh yeah, on the back bumper too. Otherwise, she's in she's in really good condition. Now that too. You probably should just replace the bumper. And it looks like this is coming off the front as well. Yeah, that's coming out of there. Alternator's charging up nicely. I'm gonna bet that battery is probably no good. It probably won't hold a charge at all. It's a nice little car, guys. I'd be interested in this one. Easy fix, super easy fix right here. Yeah, I like this one guys. I'm gonna put this one on the list as something I'm interested. I'm gonna let it run for another minute or two just to try to charge up that battery. Oh, what is this? These look like medical supplies. Express fluid warmer disposable set. Yeah, that looks like a bunch of medical supplies there, guys. Huh. Jumper cables in the back, too? Interesting. Okay, well. Let's go ahead and shut it off. What do you guys think? She gonna start back up? I don't think so. No. <laughs> yep, after sitting for two years, that battery is toast. Next on my list, the 2013 Audi Q5 Premium Quattro, listed as a non-runner with 126,000 miles on the odometer. Makes you wonder what happened to it. She's got good tires, the body looks good. I mean, granted, it is a little bit older. 2.0 turbo. I wonder if it's a timing belt engine. Ah, now that, that would make a lot of sense. Let's take a look at the other side here. Honestly, she looks good, guys. She does, she looks real good. Tires look excellent. Looks like somebody just put the tires on it. Eh, you know, the interior is a little dirty. Food items and stuff, kids, whatnot. Normal, doesn't smell bad. Oh, we got a bejeweled phone holder. Very nice, someone really bejeweled this one. <laughs> oh, I love these. I love the ones that have been bejeweled. Let's take a closer look here. I'm sure the battery's dead. I haven't seen any lights come on. What do we got in here? We got a seriously bejeweled phone holder there. We've got a bejeweled engine start stop button there. We do have the key and we got a dog over here, a little air freshener dog thing in the vent. What is this? What is that? Zip tied, okay. Um, Nice panoramic roof back there. Uh, some of the things you find on these cars, guys, it's uh, gonna throw you for a loop. Let's hope we got a jump point under here. Okay, well, to start with, somebody has, somebody's been in here. Yeah, they've taken the mass airflow sensor off. The air box. Okay. What do you think, flood car? That's the first thing that comes to mind here, is a flood car. Either that or we got something going on with the turbo down there. There's your turbo. Um, I'm gonna say we ought to, whoa. 
Make sure that's not going to come off on us. I'm going to say, let's go ahead and throw a jump on it. Let's see if it makes any attempt at starting. Cranking. See if it does. If it does something. Boy, that's a, that's a hell of a place to put the positive battery terminal. Right in the middle. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's a great place for it. Lots of fun to try to get to. All right, well, that is, there we go, there we go. Okay, she should have power. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just plug this in because without it, it may not even wanna run at all. Hell, it may not run at all anyway, but we'll go ahead and plug that in. I guess it ain't gonna hurt too much. Yeah throw that on there too and I'm not working on it guys I'm just trying to trying to help it along here all right I simply shoved the tubing back onto it plugged in the mass airflow sensor and we'll see we'll see if she wants to do anything it doesn't do a lot of good to plug in the mass airflow sensor if you don't have the plumbing for it hooked up as well she sure tried did you hear it Did you guys hear it tried to start and then it just just died. Doesn't sound like it's trying at all now. Huh. Well dang, it sounded like it was about to pop off. Let's cycle the key a few times. Maybe try to build up a little bit of fuel pressure here. One more time. Okay, here we go. No. All right, well. Could she be out of gas? Nope, she's got a full tank of gas. All right. Well, unfortunately, this one is broken. It's very interesting to me that somebody has taken apart the intake to this. Uh, could it have been in, in a flood? It's possible. Could there be internal damage to the engine? Absolutely. Maybe so. Maybe so. We could have damaged rings, a damaged landing or two. Who knows? Low to no compression. It definitely sounds like the compression is off. Hell, it could be a blown head gasket. I don't know. I don't know. Some of these cars, you just, you don't know why they're here. You just check them out as you go. And some of them turn out to be good cars. Some of them don't. This one... I'm going to say, I still wonder, is this a timing belt motor? Yeah, I don't know. I can't tell. If this is a timing belt motor, that would be my, my first bet, is that the timing is off on it. Anyway, there it is. There it was. Let's try to put this somewhere where it's not going to cause any issues with the hood closing. And, uh... Let's make sure we can close this without damaging anything here. There we go. That's it. Moving on. Last one on the list, a 2012 Volkswagen Jetta. She got some hail damage. It's kind of rough, guys. Yeah, ooh, ooh, ouch. Oh, you know that was a bad day for somebody when they did that. Looks like they jacked it up uh, at the wrong point there. Oh, man. Oh man, she's got a set of big O tires with good tread, even though that one's flat. Looks like somebody made an attempt to tint the windows themselves. It's never a good idea. I'm just gonna tell you, I've tried many times. And yeah, this looks better than when I did it myself, but tinting your windows yourself, unless you're a professional, it's just generally not the best idea. Yeah, that's, that's, that's rough. 
the interior uh, so far, it's all right. It doesn't smell awful bad. 136,000 miles on the odometer. Again, not, not too bad. You can see <laughs> that didn't work out very well. That didn't work out very well at all. Um, no power, I'm guessing. We'll find out. Let's find out. It's an automatic. Needs a windshield. Yep, she's dead. Big screen. It's kind of nice. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. We getting a clear picture now? How about sunroof? Yeah, still got a sunroof. Look at this. Even got some. Uh, even got some glasses. How about that? Okay. Show me. Let's pop this hood. Yep, it's got an engine. Oh, it's a diesel. Okay. That I was not aware of. I thought this was gasoline. <laughs> I'll be, or that could be direct injection. I guess that doesn't mean that it's diesel, right? Yeah, it's diesel. Okay. Forgive me, guys. I'm not a, you know me, I'm not a Volkswagen, Audi type of person, man. I don't, I thought TDI meant diesel, but I wasn't 100% sure. And don't worry, this is coming up probably the next video. So I think this is a 2020 Civic Biohazard. I can't wait to see that. <laughs> um, um, well... I mean, I'm not too excited about getting into it, but I think this was a theft recovery, so it still has the people's stuff, I guess, that stole it or whatever. It's all still in there. Everything is still in the car. Crazy. All right, let's throw a jump on this one real quick, though. Red to positive. All right. Black to negative. Let's see what she, uh, what she does or doesn't do here. This one supposedly runs. All right, here we go. We got noise. That's a good sign. Oh, look at the black ice air fresheners. Try to cover up the smell of you know what. Oh yeah, that's a diesel, all right. <laughs> that's a diesel. All right, important window. Yeah, it works. That works too. It's got a uh, Fender speakers. Fender premium audio. All right. Air conditioning is on, so I guess we'll find out pretty quick if that works. Let's put it in gear. Brakes feel good goes backwards goes forwards we have steering lights check engine light traction light tire pressure light light bulb light yeah it's a Volkswagen 100% it's all Volkswagen but maybe diesel what did they call that was it diesel gate Volkswagen gate I don't remember but we've oh there's the jack that I guarantee you caused the damage right there yeah, right there. I promise you that jack is what went through the side of the car. Real life laser gaming experience. Lots of clothes, glasses, pendants. Interesting. Big bottle of water always concerns me. Let's take a look under the hood. We'll go ahead and shut this off. It is charging, so it'll run on its own. Woo, you can smell that. My goodness. She doesn't seem to be running all that great, guys. Oh, she's got orange coolant, so maybe that water was just like for emergencies only. It 
it's not an awful car. I mean, the hail damage is pretty significant. It, it's pretty bad. It is. Air conditioning is cold. For what it is, it's all right. You know, it's 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 a cheap car. That's what it is. It's a cheap car. It'll probably get you around for quite a while. It's running pretty decent. Steering is very light, very very smooth, very nice steering, and it seems to run okay. You think it'll start back up? Let's find out. Nope. Dead as doornail. Okay, well, uh, I gotta admit, I'm not really a Volkswagen guy. You know, uh, hell, there's another one over there. I'm just not really into Volkswagens, so I'm not interested in bidding on this one. But here it is. If you're interested, check it out for yourself. That's the end. With that, I'm going to get out of here, guys. If you enjoyed the content, hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And stay safe out there. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.